nowadays any anybody with an internet connection and a laptop can potentially become a millionaire. For better or worse, I, I think I'm good at business. I, I understand the, the capitalist system, I also understand its danger and uh, I don't want to, to follow a wrong path and, and build a prison for myself. If you're good at business, you, you can free yourself from it. Whereas if you're not, you become enslaved by it. I'm gonna launch the company on Friday, only in two days. No, I'm not nervous. After high school, I went to university and started studying business. Uh, then I got specialized in the data science and analysis and uh, I finally specialized myself in international business and finance. The, the project is called Worker. It's a cognitive platform designed to analyze data and think and act on it. But uh, the, the best way to describe it uh, is, I would say it's like a, a robot employee working for you 24-7 and uh, with around 730 hours uh, uh, in a month, the cost of this employee is as little as 14 cents an hour. Mm, I don't think so. Some people consider that this as cheating because the companies who use my tools will have access to data that maybe the competitors may not have access to, but uh, I would more compare this to, to alchemy as we are transforming data into gold. I want to choose my life, choose what I do, choose what I work for, know why I work for this. I want to be free. I ah, once it takes off, uh, I want to bring my daughter to the ocean. She's never seen that and never took a plane. So, like, I, I love water and I'd love to to go diving with my daughter and make her discover this because, like, to me, it's, it opens your brain and you're like alone and uh, it's another world. Uh, yeah, the discovering of another world. That's what I want. I don't have any plan B. I've worked 40 years on this project, so this has to work. I chose to live in poverty out of principle. I mean, I want to keep my freedom. I don't want to feel comfortable, because I think comfort can make you complacent, and I don't want to be like that. So I've chosen this life to remain in a constant state of discomfort and fear. I work for my landlord and I don't have to pay rent and make a little money to buy food and clothes for my daughter. And most importantly, I have time to focus on my ID and develop my projects. The truth is uh, that my mother helps me a lot. She, she, take care, she takes care of my daughter. I, uh, I can say I'm, I'm not really pleasant and present and feel uh, feel a bit guilty about that, but I see this like a, like a short-term pain for a long-term girl, you know. Hey Peter, how are you? Yeah, actually the, the launching is today, so I'm doing a small party tonight. Uh, we are going to a karaoke bar in St. Laurent. I was expecting you to come as well. Uh, there will be my sister, her boyfriend, GP, Tony and Garfunk. Uh, the meeting is at 10 o'clock at the lobby of the karaoke. I just need to eat, work out and take a shower before coming. Yeah, no, no, no don't worry, we'll take a cab to come back home.
Okay, perfect. So, meet you around 10 o'clock. Yeah, cool. See you, bye-bye. You have to be careful for a guy when you wear sparkles because you can be seen uh, as a girly touch or stuff like that. But I think I have a, I have good good uh, good choice because these sparkles are subtle and discreet. Also, it can be a, a way to start conversation with a girl. Like she may ask to me, "Do you really have sparkle on your jacket?" And I say, "Yeah, but look, it's color and it's just to catch your attention, you know." Like, I want to light your eyes, light the room. Alright, so this is it. Four years come to one second. friends uh, you are always late so no no matter I know they will come and we used to have like a, a big big group of friends like a, um, like a, yeah like a gun like a, the fucking gun but I don't know more, I'm more on the east side worker than the west side but um, it's like a more uh, uh, my favorite one, I don't know, like, I get uh, to know the hip-hop with a with French one. Uh, tonight I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be a big rock and roll to start and a tough electro to finish. <laughs> Yeah, it's like friends are supposed to be like that, like, I don't know. Unless you are, unless I have like uh, something really important that wasn't planned or something like that, but I would warn my friend. I think they didn't. 